What's up guys and welcome back to episode 5 of the free to play level 3 skiller series. We ended last video getting 10 rune crafting and we were going to join the clan district 3. However, no one was online at the time to invite me to the clan. So that is what I'm going to do right now. All right, there we are. I know that high eye skill is online, so he should be able to actually let me join the clan. But I guess we will see here in a second. You know what's really funny? I'm Skilla and this guy is Skilla. That's really kind of funny because it's the same version of my name. It's like he tried to get my name but couldn't. All right, here we go. I am applying now. And there we go. We moved over. We now have the Sapphire rank. Very beautiful. Very beautiful. Too bad we couldn't get this in the last video, but it is in this one. And I'm happy with it. So what are we going to train now? I'm not too sure. Um, maybe we might get mining up to level 30. At least then we'd have base 30s besides rune crafting. I think maybe we should just continue training rune crafting, to be honest. We don't unlock body runes until level 20. And I think body runes are probably the best way to go. Uh, I'm not too sure because I watched some guides, but they're mainly for mains who can teleport around. And other than that, there aren't really any free-to-play guides out there on YouTube for free-to-play skillers especially. That's even more rare. So uh, yeah, I think we might just continue doing rune crafting until level 20. So I'll see you guys there. So I figured if I am going to be here rune crafting, we might as well make it worth it. So what I ended up doing, as you guys can see right here, these are all my alt accounts. And I am going to trade each one of them. Hold on, let me open it up on all my other accounts. Okay. And I'm going to trade each of them. Uh, let's say 1250 pure essence. That way they can just all follow me around. And I'm basically literally playing four accounts at once right now. Okay, so this is what I'm going to do. I'm just going to right click myself on all of the different accounts. Hit follow. And then we're just all going to nicely walk on over to the air altar. This way should be a lot faster because I'm going to be making four inventories of runes every single run. It's like I have an army following me. It's going to be so much nicer. A lot more clicking, but it's going to be worth it. I forgot to give them all air tiaras. Oh, now I got to go get air tiaras. Fantastic. I'll do that in a second. All right. Now that everybody is wearing air tiaras, we are all good to go. Very excited. Very excited. This is going to be so much better. It's unfortunate we can't run though because all of my accounts have different agility levels and they just won't line up correctly. So that's a little bit unfortunate, but I mean we are getting four inventories every single run instead of just one, which isn't bad. So what we do is I just go into the altar, click them all into the altar, and then I craft my runes, trade, do all of this, do it again, then I trade again. They give me pure essence, I give them runes, accept, 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 I make more runes, get 14 rune crafting, uh, trade my last account, put in those runes, put in these runes, accept, 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 click, done, portal, 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 and then they just follow, follow, and follow. Let me just walk back. It's that simple. All right, and here we go. The last inventory here at the air runes. Bada boom, bada bing, level 20 rune crafting. We can now craft body runes. And I already traded over body talismans from my main account to all of my other accounts. So we are good to go straight to Edgeville. I wanted to track the XP I was getting per hour doing this. Um, it's actually about 14 and a half K, but I was messing around with some of the settings. I was turning on entity hider on my other accounts and doing all sorts of like uh, changing shift clicks and stuff like that. So I did kind of stall out in the bank for a little bit, but doing this method was about 14,000 XP an hour. So that's not bad at all for free to play skilling rune crafting XP and we're just doing air runes. I'm excited to see what we get crafting body runes. All right, it's time to see how much rune crafting XP an hour we get here at the body runes. It's kind of weird here because you don't teleport on the exact same tile on all of your accounts, which is a bit odd. What, what, what am I doing wrong here? What did I just do wrong? So all, all, oh, I got to switch it. There we go. There's 21 rune crafting sneaking in there. I started taking out only 27 pure essence from the bank because I think it'll be a lot easier as opposed to trading my body runes every time I need to trade someone. 25 rune crafting coming in. 
It also appears like we're getting about 23,000 XP an hour, which is very good for free to play rune crafting. So I am not going to complain about that, even though it is a lot of clicking. Oh, level 30 rune crafting right here. Very nice, very nice indeed. The XP an hour is actually about 20,000 XP an hour. Back whenever I got the previous XP an hour that I said that we had, that was because I was running and I ran out of run and I'm back to walking. So, uh, yeah, it is truly about 19 and a half to 20k XP an hour. Unless you have energy potions on all of your accounts, which honestly is not even worth it at all. Because that would just be a nightmare, having to drink and then follow and drink and follow. It's not worth it. It really isn't. But 19.5k runecrafting XP an hour in free-to-play is actually very good. Like, seriously good. It's bizarre, but yeah. Hey, almost missed it here. Level 35 runecrafting. As a free-to-play player, I can now receive two fire runes from each essence. Yeah, I mean, it's nice to be going up levels. It's way, way, way faster than it is normally doing it by yourself. I watched back the very first episode of my regular skiller series. I was getting 6.5 thousand XP an hour here in free-to-play doing body runes. So, yeah, I mean, I reset the XP per hour counter because I just want to see how much XP an hour it is with just walking and no running at all. And uh, that's where we are now. And I keep getting notifications because people at the U trees are getting their forestry events. And it's really annoying, but I don't want to turn it off because I like being able to see when they come and I don't want to fix all the settings again. I'll show you guys what it's like banking. Um, you're not going to be able to see my other accounts banking because it's on the other monitor. You can get a rough estimate of how much time it takes to bank if I go really quick and I don't misclick. All right, ready guys? Let's see. All righty. And are we good? And we are good. So that wasn't too long. I think it's only like maybe 10 seconds of banking if you're really quick i set up my bank tabs and everything so that it's as easy as possible and also if you have the gpu plug in and you put your distance very very far you can actually click the mysterious ruins from the bank uh usually these evergreen trees are in the way but if you hold down shift and then right click you could swap left click to walk here so that way god the stupid green screen but uh yeah once you set it to walk here you can't click on the evergreens, except for these ones. Let me see. See, change it to walk here. Now you can't click on it. Only thing you can click on is the mysterious ruins, which makes this so much nicer. And then the rest of my run is basically like this. I trade the stuff over. I click the portal. I craft the runes. Trade the other account. Trade it over. Trade it. Accept. Accept. Click the portal. Craft the runes. Trade the last account. Trade. Accept. 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 Accept, portal, craft the runes, portal, and then on my other accounts, this is how I make it go quickly. I right click trade myself and then right click follow. So right click trade, right click follow, right click trade, right click follow. I zoom out, click on the bank, turn off run, and we are good to go. Because I right click traded before I followed, the trade is still lingering in the chat box. So that way, whenever I right click and trade, it will be instant and I don't have to confirm it on my other accounts. So yeah, anything we could do to save some time. It's really crazy. We're already 35 rune crafting because rewatching my first regular skiller video, it took me seven hours of running body runes in order to get to level 40 rune crafting. And with this setup, we are gonna be nowhere near that time. So the official numbers are in. If you're only walking the entire time, you get 19,500 XP an hour. But that's if you do really quick banking and really quick trades as well, which isn't too bad. Um, if I was running, I should be getting like, I imagine like 24K, 24.5K XP an hour. But I can't have my run on. It is what it is. I'm completely fine with 19,500 XP an hour. I mean, regular training here is 6,500 an hour, and that's with running. So... Not really too worried about it. It's very nice. We're about to get level 39 runecrafty coming up here, and I will see you at the next update. All right, the time is now. Level 40 runecrafting. If I was a member, I could now craft astral runes. Uh, I would also need a quest for that as well. But yeah, I mean, this was so fast, like super, super fast. I was genuinely surprised at how quick we were getting these levels. 
My computer did crash from having all of my clients open at the same time, so that's why my time played has been lower. But I'm going to stop this clip and I'm going to look back and see how long it actually took me to go from level 20 to 40 runecrafting. And it took me about two hours to go from level 20 to 40 runecrafting and free to play. That is insane, and if I had more accounts and a better computer, I could run like maybe six or seven at once. That would be crazy. That'd be almost be like 100k XP an hour. Maybe one of these days I could pay some of you guys to run me some runes in free to play. I don't know, maybe like two mil an hour? That Does that sound fair? I don't know. If I can get like 15 of you guys at two mil an hour, that would be awesome. But I won't be doing that for quite a while, so uh, I guess we'll see when the time comes. But anyway, now that that's done, we can go train some mining because we have 30 base stats besides mining. It really shouldn't take too long to get to 30 mining, so let's go crack it out. So we finally got our first clue geode. Uh, we're gonna complete that after we're done here. But I just also wanted to vent real quick. It's currently 3.57 AM and the bots are insane in free to play. In every single world, there are four to five bots just in this one mine alone. And it's super irritating because it makes it impossible to mine iron ore in this location, which is very unfortunate because this is like the best place for me to train mining at these levels. And these bots aren't even banking. They just get the ores and they get the clay and they just run to the bank and trade their mule, all their stuff, and then come back. They don't even bank. The mule is just standing there accepting things freely. There's only 152 people in this world right now, and I guarantee you at least 100 of them have to be bots. They just have to be. But it's really frustrating because I just wish that Jagex would fix the free-to-play bot issue. I know pay-to-play botting is a big deal, but a lot of the bots get their gold farming levels in free-to-play. Because I imagine it's a lot simpler to just bot in free-to-play as opposed to buying membership on a bot that you're basically just kamikaze botting. So it's not only affecting me because this is the best place I can train in free-to-play because the Alcrid mines have scorpions that will kill me, but it also ruins it for so many new players who haven't gotten a chance to play the game and this is their first experience like can you imagine being brand new and you're trying to mine iron for the first time maybe make a little bit of cash and you can't because you're getting beat out by literal bots and i'm sure some of the new players don't even realize they're bots either they probably try to talk to them and they ignore them and it, it's just so frustrating but yeah so there's a bot here there's three bots here and then there's also another bot that keeps coming back to these rocks right here and stealing them from me so every time he comes back which this is the longest he's been gone but every time he comes back he steals my spot and i have to go over to this one solo iron rock which really sucks because you know i just want to get some xp but anyway i just wanted to vent because it is severely annoying and they're doing it so blatantly like i said they're not even banking they're trading the mule right at the bank every single inventory it's wild here we are at level 30 mining. We can now mine coal, which is very nice, and we can do size three stars as well. We are gonna stay here until level 31 though, that way I could at least use the adamant pickaxe. And uh, yeah, I'm, I'm genuinely shocked that this other bot hasn't come back. But once we get level 31 mining, I'm gonna go do this clue geode. I'm very excited to do, I believe it is the first one that we've done on this account. I can't remember if I did any earlier. I don't think I have any in the bank. But it's just been me and this guy, Free HC Pure. He just comes in, he mines silver, hops worlds, and uh, yeah, he's the one who told me that they're muling at the bank because I didn't even know until he came back and told me. So yeah, shout out to Free Hardcore Pure for being the only real person in this mine other than me. And here we go. Level 31 mining and I clicked through it for absolutely no reason. I don't know why I did that. Okay. Well, I wanted to read the message, but I can now wield an adamant pickaxe, which is fantastic. But yeah, if you guys want to see what I'm talking about, of how they're trading the mule, here he is. Jagex, report him. Look at this. Look at this. How many people are here? Look at this. Come on. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, plus the ones that are at the mine right now. So shameless. So I'm going to make this guy my only friend who I have on my friends list at this point in time. That way I can keep an eye on him and know if Jagex bans him. Because if by the time this video comes out and he's not banned, I'm going to be so irritated because this guy's just raking it. Look at all these people. I still can't believe it. Anyway, let's open this clue with Geode and let's do our first clue scroll. Okay, this is right next to Falador. We can go do this one. Uh, I'm going to grab a bunch of energy potions and we're going to get going here. 
I would like to complete every clue log slot on this account that I can with beginner clue scrolls. I think that would be a really fun goal to have. So I'm going to make a little thing on Photoshop. It's probably going to take me forever, but I'm going to make it anyway. And, uh, oh, we already got the first casket. So let's see what we get. First ever clue scroll. Our clue. Oh, no, it's not. It's our second. Oh, yeah. The first one was at Goblin Village, I think, right? I think so. Could be wrong. But, uh, yeah, we've got 27 air runes. How terrible. But anyway, as I was saying, I'm going to make a graphic. It's probably going to take forever to make on Photoshop, which it is what it is. It's not a big deal. It's a long-term investment. And uh, I could show you guys kind of like what Impling Only does on her channel. I really like that. I like the way that she does that. And uh, yeah, I'm just going to straight up rip it from her. Jeez, that sounded terrible. But uh, yeah, that's I'm still going to do it. <laughs> I'm actually kind of in the mood to train some crafting right now. So we're going to go do that for a little bit. I'm going to try to get level 60 crafting. That would be kind of nice. Then I'll get 60 cooking, probably. That way they both look nice together. And we're going to do that in the form of cutting gems. So what I'm going to do is pull up a calculator to see how many gems I need, because I always overestimate. Okay, so if we want to do diamonds, we only need 805. How much is that going to cost me? Okay, so this is going to be 1.6 mil just to go from level 56 to 60. That is way too much money, I think. However, diamonds actually sell, I think, regular cut ones. So let's see how much they sell for. Oh, that's really close. Okay, yeah, we're going to do uncut diamonds. I really thought it was going to be worse. It's not that big of a price difference, actually. I'm surprised. Buy them for $19.45 each. Got to get 805 of them. Let's see if they buy. And uh, we'll just wait for those to come in. So as we wait for the diamonds to buy to get level 60 crafting, we might as well make some wines to get to level 60 cooking as well. So I'm going to make about 150 and then we'll see how far that gets us because I know I'm going to fail some of them. So it should equal out to about 150. I imagine. Uh, I guess we'll see. OK, we got 154 wines. Hopefully that's enough to get us up to level 60. In the meantime, let's collect our diamonds. Very, very nice. We'll pop these in the bank real quick. And what tab is my crafting tab? Oh, OK. As soon as I close the bank, we should be getting our XP drop. Let's see if we get to level 60. And no, we're level 59. Not even close to 60. It's only 21k XP. Bruh, how many went wrong? Oh my god. On the calculator, I had Eye of the Artisan selected. So I needed to make 240 wines. Oof. Okay, so I only need to make 106 more wines. All right. So I'm going to make like 125, and then hopefully that's enough to actually get us level 60 cooking. Okay, so we're at 126 wines. Hopefully that's enough. I guess we'll see. And yes, it's perfect. 60 cooking. Members could do all this stuff that I cannot do. All right, looking very clean. Very clean indeed. Oh, and a message went off in the clan chat. That's the first level up that I got in the clan chat. That's cool. Now that we have 60 cooking, let's get 60 crafting. I'm going to add this to the canvas so that we could see how much XP and hour we're getting cutting diamonds. I'm sure it's going to be a lot. Okay, so it seems like we're getting about 281,000 XP an hour, and I love it. I, I truly love it. It's very rare that you have a free-to-play skill that gives you this much XP per hour. Hopefully, I don't lose too much money doing this. I don't think I will, because if I don't lose too, too much money, I would probably do these till 99. Uh, I don't really know what else I'd do in free-to-play other than make maybe green dehyde stuff, but I think you lose a ton of money doing that. But who knows? I mean, I'm not even planning on getting 99s on this account at this point in time. I mean, I would like to get maybe base 80s to complete the series. Uh, I'm not sure yet, especially with rune crafting. That would be such a pain, even with multiple accounts helping me out. But only time will tell. Maybe I will want to max this account. I mean, probably minus rune crafting, I would imagine. But yeah, might be cool. I just realized we're also at 1350 total level. So that's kind of like a mini milestone. Okay, so according to the calculator, this diamond right here at the bottom of my inventory should be the diamond that gets me to level 60 crafting. Went by pretty quickly. Not as fast as cooking does, though. Um, it's actually probably more XP an hour, but I don't know why cooking just seems so much faster. But there we go. Calculator was correct. Level 60 crafting. We can now... Cr oh! Oh! I did not know that. I figured green dehyde chaps were free-to-play because they're a free-to-play thing. I'm surprised you can't craft those in free-to-play worlds. Very interesting. I feel like that's like an oversight almost. But I mean, I guess like energy potions you can't make in free-to-play. 
but you can buy them, I think, from the apothecary. I could be wrong about that. Another message went off in the clan chat as well, which is very nice. Thank you to everybody in District 3 for congratulating me. But yeah, I'm not sure what skill I want to train next, but whatever skill it is, I believe is going to be in the next video. So yeah, that is where I'm going to end today's video. I hope that you guys enjoyed it. If you did, be sure to drop a like below. It really means a lot to me. If you haven't done so already, be sure to hit that subscribe button as well. That way you get notified when a new video comes out. And with all that being said, I hope that you enjoyed this video, and I will see you in the next one.